Welcome to All Print Supplies short video to demonstrate how to make a flag. All Print Supplies offer a range of fabrics and ancillary products for making great flags. In this demo we will be showing you how to create a feather flag. We can provide all the fabrics and materials you will need to print, assemble and display any style of flag. We offer a choice of printable flag fabrics for various ink types, beach flag belts for attaching to poles, a choice of strong flag poles and a varied selection of flag bases. To begin with I will explain what you will need to create and install a typical feather style fabric flag. Firstly you will need to select a flag material. Use either our moth, butterfly or leopard fabrics. Select your fabric depending on which is most suitable for your printer ink type and your project. For example, you may not choose to use leopard for designs with smaller text because of the hole to fabric ratio. Moth is our traditional knitted polyester flag fabric, compatible with latex, UV and dye sublimation inks, and does not come on a release liner. Butterfly is similar to our moth fabric, but comes on a release liner. It is compatible with solvent inks as well as latex printers. Leopard Air Mesh offers a different flag option compatible with latex, UV and dye sublimation printers. Next, choose your style of flagpole. We stock two flagpoles for either feather or teardrop style flag shapes. They come in various heights ranging from 2 meters to 5 meters high. All of our flagpoles are non-telescopic and the strong pole sections lock together easily. You will need a beach flag belt available in black or white for fixing the flag to the pole. We stock a variety of universal flag bases suitable for various locations. These include large and small plastic bases for freestanding applications. These can be filled with either water or sand depending on the weight and size of your flag to ensure stability. We also offer our universal spike base option for inserting into soft ground. This leaves only a small footprint and is primarily used for festivals, sporting events and fates etc. Another similar option is our universal metal cross base, designed for internal use. The universal metal car stand base option is for positioning underneath the wheel of a car to give it stability. These stands are usually seen in car showroom forecourts. In addition to the hardware, you will also need an artwork template that fits the style of your pole shape, either feather or teardrop. Other flag styles are also possible, but these two are the standard commercial flag shapes. You will need a suitably sized clean work table or bench, a sewing machine, we recommend a heavy duty sewing machine. You will also need high strength thread of a suitable colour that complements your flag design. All of our flag fabrics can be cold cut to size with either fabric scissors, a standard scalpel or Stanley knife or any automated cutter. Finally, you will also need any standard fabric material for making the tensioning loop. Cut this to approximately 360mm 14 inches long by 10mm 0.4 inches wide. Flags can come in many different shapes and sizes and you can create your own bespoke artwork to suit yourself. However, just be aware that using standard template artwork such as for teardrop or feather flags will greatly speed up the artwork creation process and also result in a flag which is proven to work well. If your printed image is required to go full edge to edge, allow at least an extra 8 to 10 mm graphic bleed off of all edges. This will avoid any white unprinted areas being visible on the finished flag. After designing and printing your flag, we move on to the finishing stage. If your fabric comes with a release liner, remove it from the back of your printed fabric as shown. Then trim your flag, including an extra 8 to 10 mil bleed to allow for stitching your hem. Now create and stitch a hem for your fabric flag. Fold the edges over by approximately 8 to 10 millimeters to create the hem, and then single stitch. There is no need to hem the longest edge closest to the pole, as this is where your beach flag belt will be stitched. For fixing the flag to the pole, we provide our universal beach flag belt elastic material. You will need to cut the beach flag belt to the length of your flag and then line up the belt to the top edge, overlapping the flag fabric by 10mm into the belt. 
Single stitch one edge of the belt onto the long pole edge of the printed flag fabric and stitch all the way to the bottom of the flag. Now fold the belt in half as shown and double stitch the remaining long edge that attaches to the flag fabric to create a pocket for the pole to slide through. Sandwich the flag fabric between the two edges of the belt elastic as you go. You do not need to trim the width of the belt as it is already sized for our 20mm aluminium poles. Just make sure you do not leave any excess belt beyond the stitching. The top edge of the pocket also needs to be stitched closed to prevent the flagpole from sliding through at the top. Now take a short piece of any standard fabric material, approximately 360mm 14 inches in length by 10mm 0.4 inches wide and fold it in half to create a loop. Double stitch both ends of the loop onto the belt to fix the loop firmly onto the bottom of your pocket. We recommend stitching one inch from both ends of the loop fabric into the pocket to allow for a good strong fixing. This loop is for attaching and tensioning to the tying hook. The tying hook is part of the pole and slides up and down to create the right tension to keep the flag in position. Your flag is now ready to put together as we will now demonstrate. The poles slot together and come apart easily with the help of a finger push locking connection as shown here. Fill the base unit with either sand or water. Screw the vertical trunk into the base unit and insert the thin metal pole into the centre hole. Attach the pole sections together as shown earlier, ensuring the pole with the tying hook is at the bottom and the pole with the cap is at the top end. Take your flag fabric and slide the open pocket end over the pole until it reaches the end of the belt as shown. Insert the bottom pole section over the thin metal base pole. The flag can be tensioned by placing the loop over the tying hook. This in turn can be slid up and down as required. Why and where would you choose to use flags? Look no further than your nearest petrol station to see an example of a feather flag or teardrop flag. Our fabric materials can also make all the different types of flags such as national flags, hand waving flags, bunting, etc. Flags are popping up all over the country and becoming the shopfront signage of choice, as flags have the ability to stand out from the crowd. Our eyes are naturally attracted to moving objects, so while driving along a busy high street full of various signage, you can be guaranteed that the shop sign you notice first will be the one with a flag outside. Feather and teardrop flags will work extremely well inside as well as outside, with various flag heights, flag types and the ability to choose from different bases and stands, there is an option for every location. Flags are an effective way of advertising and improving brand awareness and customer footfall. Thanks for watching our video to demonstrate how to make a flag and to showcase our range of fabrics and ancillary products for flags. For more product application videos from All Print Supplies, Visit our YouTube channel or our website allprint.co.uk for the very latest information and product news or contact our sales offices on the number shown at the bottom of your screen now.